All right, if you've recently thought about getting a dog, this may be the perfect opportunity. Big adoption event going on this weekend in Bloomington, and Kylie, our resident puppy lover. <laughs> Nobody is happier <laughs> around puppies oh, than you are, Kylie. That's very true. And this morning, <laughs> we've got some just lovers up here with us, and this is all part of a fun event where there's going to be so many different dogs that you can adopt, and it's all to help one of our local rescues. So we are so excited. We've got quite the lineup with us this morning. Spots last stop, we have Ben with us and Lindsay and then we have Grant here as well so so happy to have you guys back I know you were here last year as well okay Grant let's start with telling us uh, introducing us to all these different puppies all right so this <laughs> is Hunter he's a blue healer so sweet we've got Michael over here and his brother Bruce <laughs> little terrier mix and they've been then having fun this Gracie morning down on the end here what kind of dog is Gracie this is what is she, a Wheaton Terrier uh, Poodle Terrier mix? Poodle mix, yeah. yeah. Yep. Awesome. And I know that all of your dogs come from Alabama, they is that do. right? They do. How did you guys get started? You were just a couple of years old, and you've already done, what, 2,000 dogs placing we have, homes? Yep. Awesome. How did you get started? We just kind of by fluke, actually. Yeah. We just got tied in with some bunch of stuff and thought, you know what, this is something we can do that will make a difference, and we just ran with it. Absolutely. So, Lindsay, I know you're one of the fosters. What's it like to work with Spots Last Stop? It's amazing. We have so much fun. Um, it's been a great group of friends. We get to play with dogs all day. It's just, it's the best. It's my favorite thing. Oh, I got, I got, a, I got a squirmy hunter. I got a squirmy <laughs> hunter. He's on the move. He's on the, oh, there we go. Now got we're him. calming down. <laughs> okay, so there's the big event coming up this weekend, Brews for Barks. Yes. Tell me about it. So Bruce for Barks will be this coming Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 at Cowboy Jackson, Bloomington, Minnesota. Um, we will be out there all day, really. We've got a nice big tent set up, yeah. stay out of the weather, and we've got about 30 dogs coming in for that. Puppies, dogs, what kind? Everything. Every all day. age, all breed. Um, Is this something where if you are looking for a dog right now, you can go and potentially go home with a dog that day or is it an application process? There is an application process, so you do have to fill out an application, do an interview. Yeah. Um, so there's some vetting that goes into it, but same day adoptions mm -hmm. for this event. Yeah. Awesome. And so Ben, I know that you guys get all your dogs from Alabama and one of the big fundraisers this is supporting is to get you guys a van. How big of a difference would it make to have that? Oh, it'd be huge. I mean, a huge cost saver for sure. We, we definitely need one and, and the goal for, for the event on Saturday. Uh, other than the adoptions, right, is to raise money for a transport van. Yep. We hear from so many different local rescues, and they get a lot of their dogs from the South. Grant, how did you connect specifically with Alabama? Um, we saw a need and just filled it, yeah. really, is what it is. You know, they can rescue all the dogs in the world, but they just don't have anywhere for them to go. And so 2,000 dogs. How's it mm -hmm. feel? I mean, you guys, this started, you know, kind of like you said, on a fluke. And yep. now you've, you've placed so many dogs in homes that otherwise probably would have been euthanized in the South. It's, it's great, you know. It's yeah. been uh, very busy, to say the least. Absolutely. Okay, so you want to raise that money that's coming up on Saturday. Sure. Come on out. Anyone can go and enjoy. And that pint glass that you pay $10 for gets a $2 uh, beer all day. Yep, all oh, day. Oh, Hunter's on the move again. Hey <laughs> there we go. There we are. All right. Guys, thank you so much for getting up early and bringing all these pups. Oh, sorry, did my hair bother you? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it is so much fun with all these pups, and they are just lovers, and they're all looking for a good home. Very cute yeah. and cool that you can adopt them the same day right there. Very exactly. Nice. Oh, Hunter, hi. Oh. See you. <laughs> I think Kylie's going to adopt a dog right from our rooftop. You're going to have Hunter home in time to put that puppy in a Halloween costume. Perfect. Be all set. 623, if you are thinking about getting a dog, this might be the perfect opportunity. Yeah, there's a big adoption event in Bloomington this weekend, and Kylie Burse is up on the CCO rooftop to tell us more about the Howl Oween edition of Brews for Barks. Hi, guys. Hey, we've, hi. Got, we've got a lot going on up here this morning. It's a lot of fun. I want to introduce you to everyone. We've got Grant and Lindsay and Amy on the end. And Grant, do you want to introduce us to the pups that we have here today? I've got Bruce. So there's Bruce here. We have Gracie, who's a Wheaton poodle. She's been so sweet. She's just the biggest lover with those eyes. Okay, we now we've got Michael. Michael here, a little terrier. <laughs> and then we have Hunter on the end, who's a blue healer mix. And I couldn't believe when you told me the story of how some of these were found there. It all came up from Alabama. Hunter that we're looking at right now was actually found on the side of a highway. He was the side of the highway, and these two were dumpster babies. And that's pretty common down there, isn't it? It is. And so why, tell me about Spots Last Stop. How did you guys get started? You're a couple years old now? Yeah, we're a couple years old now. Uh, we just kind of fell into it. We yeah. wanted to get it involved with something make a difference and just kind of ran with it. Yeah, and I know that you guys work pretty much primarily with the Alabama shelters. Yes. Why is it that, you know, so many of the shelters here in the Twin Cities end up getting dogs from the south? A uh, big part of it is there's just such an overpopulation issue that goes on down there. Yeah. They have uh, some of the highest kill, kill rates in the shelters as well. So 
they can save all the dogs in the world down there, but there's nowhere for them to go at the end of the day. So a lot of them end up coming up here. And what's amazing is that you guys actually do some of the driving. You'll drive down and meet some of the volunteers yep. halfway. Yep. Tell me about that process. So that's a fun process. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> you drive, drive down to Iowa, do a little van transfer, drive them back, play a big game of Tetris, loading them up to get here. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then get them here and hopefully get them mm -hmm. into some good homes. So Lindsay, I know that you fostered in the past. What's that like? It's super fun. Um, my kids love it. We get to have puppies all the time. <laughs> we always have puppies in our house. It's just, it's a fun time. Yeah. And Amy, you've been working with Spots Last Stop too. Tell me a little about your experience. Well, I'm on the marketing team, but actually from a foster standpoint, it's been great to have another dog as a temporary playmate for the dog that I have right now. Sure. So oh. that's a great experience. Hunter well. is just loving life in your arms right now. Okay, let's <laughs> talk about the event this weekend because yes. lots of fun coming up. People can actually go and there'll be adoptable dogs there. Yes, absolutely. We're going to have about 30 dogs this weekend at our adoption event at uh, Cowboy Jackson Bloomington. Awesome. So we'll be there on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And, and that's then, the one in Bloomington, perfect. And then the pint glass, tell me about that. Yeah, so we're doing a fundraiser as well. So we will be selling um, pint glasses, commemorative pint glasses with the logo on it for $10 each to help raise money for a transport van. And you guys don't have a transport van we right now, you're currently. renting? Currently, we rent or borrow. Yeah, yep. Or borrow, so, so it'd be great <laughs> to get you guys your own because yeah. you do such great work in the community. You just hit 2,000 animals you've adopted into homes? We have, yes. Amazing, well congratulations. The event is coming up this weekend and we put a link on our Facebook page and on WCCO.com slash links. Guys, this has been a, a pretty wild morning as far as puppy wrangling goes. We have Bruce over here, Bruce and Hunter, that you know, we gotta keep them away from each other. They love each other a little too much. They get excited, a um, <laughs> little bit of yipping happening. <laughs> It sounds like a tough job, but Kylie, I know that you know you're willing to step up and to take care of those puppies. Someone's got to do it, Kim. I mean, you're great with the goats, but you know, puppies, <laughs> I got it. All right, Kylie, thank you, Jason.